5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pagtutulungan ang naging susi sa tagumpay. Magandang araw sa lahat ng ating mga tagapanood. Ngayon ay masasaksihan natin ang isa sa mga pinakamahalagang programa, ang State of the School Address o tinatawag ring SOSA, na Integrated School of Lawa na pinamumunuan ni Dr. Arlene M. Garcia. Ako nga pala si Ginang Joylin Alperna, ang inyong tagapagdaloy ng programa. At upang parumal na pasimula ng ating programa ngayong araw, ang lahat ay aming inaanyayahan sa pag-awit ng lupang inirang na ipukumpas sa atin ni Ginang Cheryl G. Balume at susunda naman ito ng himnon ng kalamba. Kasunod nito ay ang panalangin na pamumunuan ni Ginang Menchi B. Conde at susunda ito ng school quality policy na bibigkasin sa atin ni Ginang Dishel. M. Guerrero.
pinagkaloob mo sa amin upang maisakatuparan namin ang aming misyon sa pamilya, sa aming kapwa at sa propisyong ito. Lubos po kaming nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng tagumpay na aming nakakamit dulot ng inyong pagpapala. Panginoon, dalangin po namin ang inyong kapatawaran sa aming mga kasalanan. Higit kailanman, alam namin lilinisin mo kami at bibigyan ng liwanag ang aming buhay. Panginoon, hiling din po namin ang inyong patuloy na paggabay sa mga tatahakin naming landa sa buhay. Dalangin din po namin, Ama, ang pag-iingat mo sa amin sa mga gawaing nakaatang sa amin at ilayo sa anumang kapahamakan at karamdaman o sakit. Sa inyo po namin itinatagubuilin ang buhay namin magpakailanman. Salamat po Ama, ito po ang aming dalangin. Sa iyo po ang pinakamataas na papuri, pasasalamat at kaluwalhatian. Amen. School Quality Policy Integrated School of Lawa is an institution of courteous, responsive, and service-oriented public servants commits to the realization of DepEd's vision, mission, and core values anchored on the principles of transparent, ethical, and accountable governance in ensuring the delivery of quality and inclusive basic education services to all types of learners through continual improvement of the quality management system and in conformity with the relevant, legal, and statutory requirements towards customer satisfaction in the pursuit of developing all types of learnings. Isang masaya at kapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. I'm so blessed and honored bilang isang public schools district supervisor sa anim na paaralan dito sa ating division na tinamumunuan ng napakamuhusay, napakasisipag, at very supportive at masasabi kong leaders by example and with big hearts. And integrated school of Lawa under the leadership of their very industrious and effective principal to Dr. Arlene Garcia. To all the very industrious, efficient, effective, and committed teachers of Cluster 1, and to the ever industrious, caring, and very supportive PTA officers, parents, LGUs, barangay officials, learners, and other stakeholders. My salute. May all the blessings of the Almighty God shower upon us. As Mati Estefanik quotes, unity is strength. When there is teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. Yes, we need unity in this time of new normal. Teamwork wherein each and every one of us in consensually performing the job entrusted to us. Kung ang bawat isa ay gagampanan ng buong puso ang ating mga tungkulin, walang imposibling bagay na hindi natin kayang gawin. Lalo higit kung tayo ay humihingi ng tulong at gabay sa ating dakilang lumikha. Kaya nga ako ay nagpapasalamat sa mga magulang gabay ng ating mga mag-aaral na walang sawang Tumaganap ng kanilang mga tungkulin, mahalagang manaman natin kung ano na ang kalagayan ng pag-aaral ng ating mga anak. Ano ang nakuha nilang marka, ngunit mas mahalaga ang mga competencies at values na kanilang natutunan sa kanilang pag-aaral. With the different experiences and challenges we encountered, 
these past two quarters, we are now more confident that we can make it better for quarter three. Continue extending our collaborative efforts so that we could bring out the best for our children as the hope of the fatherland. In behalf of our school's division superintendent, Susan Fabiana, our ASDS, Sir J.P.E. Lopo, our CID chief, Ma'am Dolorosa S.T. Castro, to all of you receive our deepest gratitude and appreciation for a job well done. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Now, Lisa T. Espada, leading this quote, alone, we can do little, but together, we can do everything with God's grace and providence. Thank you very much and God bless. In the past few years, the Integrated School of Lawa in the division of Calamba City has been doing an enormous performance on school-based management. Integrated School of Lawa, as key provider of education, is equipped to improve its key officials to make informed and localized decisions toward responsive, systematic, and service-oriented public institution through school-based management system. Principle 1. Leadership and Governance. Ma'am Arlene M. Garcia manifested her effective leadership by attending the LDM1 Course 1 for the school head as to equip her with skills and competencies required as a coach for LDM2 for ISL teachers as preparation for the new normal, all of which are documented in Depet Tayo, ISL Lawa Facebook page. As community leaders, Barangay Captain Honorable Emmanuel Nido, and SK officials of Barangay Lawa and Barangay Pasiano both launched projects of giving free transportation of SLMs, food, personal assistance, face masks and face shields, printing of modules, and moral support to various schools' program youth formation which celebrates Linggo ng Kabataan, focusing on the importance of cooperation and unity. Conducted seminar on Walk a Cop, Teenage Pregnancy and Illegal Drugs, on grant of the school cover court and school facade. SSG initiated the peer tutorial project, Kamag-aral ko, Kaagapay ko, the Teacher's Day celebration where educators were recognized and awarded. ISL teachers are invited by other schools and institutions as a source speaker. Curriculum and instruction learning. Collaboration of exit performance tests allow teachers to merge similar learning outcomes into one activity targeting various skills all at the same time. Through this app, teachers could easily check and assess students' quizzes, sit works, and assignments, allowing them to devote more of our time in developing instructional materials. Localized curriculum for horticulture. This is a testament for innovation in supporting sustainable food production, video uploading of recorded online classes, a training of co-facilitator in online class, teachers strengthening students' leadership skills by making them a co-facilitator, recognizing that they are accountable for their academic success. Gamification. Using educational games, it increases learners' interest, creativity, and motivation, wherein students view the learning process as fun and enjoyable. Review of MELC and SLMs. This communicates its concept, measurable, result-oriented, and aligned objectives for effective transfer of learning competencies. Campaign for character education in ASCII, which assists ISL and communities in promoting high moral and cultural values of the Filipino youth. Ilo Salilin, and a teacher's from Natay. Collaboration among parents is the key factor in the academic success of their child. Program Passwords. Passwords stand for 
Doctors personally hand carried the modules and supplementary materials directly to the students and parents, especially for those who live in far-flung places. Accountability and continuous improvement. Physical improvement. ISL collaborated with the GPTA and other stakeholders for the improvement of school facilities, construction of stage, cementing of school grounds, putting up additional laboratory, enhancement of guidance office, institutionalized inset, ISL conducted training of teachers in the new normal, virtual education in the new normal. ISL teachers are trained virtually on how to conduct online classes in the new normal. Training includes voice modulation, expression and greetings, time management, participative activities and the like. Learning continuity plan and school improvement plan. ISL conducted stakeholders virtual orientation and recognition with the theme Valuing partners in bringing quality education in the new normal. This testifies the commitment of ISL in quality education through the support of various stakeholders. ISL ISO certified, Eagle Scout Award, and Leadership Award in Anti-Drag Advocacy, Management of Resources, Digital Magazine, featuring the stakeholders' sponsorship to the school's endeavor. Memorandum of Agreement, providing assistance in the distribution of motion and retrieval of answer sheets. Brigada Escuela, participating in the various programs and projects of Brigada Escuela. Manukan sa Paralan, Gulayan sa Tahanan, Libring Gamit sa Bata, Yaring sa Biyaya. Stakeholders Awards and Recognition, acknowledging the contribution of the following stakeholders to the school's accomplishments. Hey everyone, it's been a year when pandemic devastated countries around the world. Our health is of paramount importance, which is why we need to overcome this difficult time with positive attitude for one's own sake and for others. Likewise, learning should never stop. ISL would like to inform with you. Our dear stakeholders, the status and accomplishment of our school for the school year 2020. The school profile, despite pandemic, ISL still managed to increase its enrollment from the last year figures of 852 to 1,072 this school year. With regard to health and nutrition, there are 11.88 or 70 out of 589 male learner, learners fall outside the normal health status, while 14.64% or 71 of 485 female learners are in the normal health status. Accordingly, the school is in process of strengthening its wellness program through continuous linkages with the stakeholders. For the learners' materials, the data revealed that grade 10 level exceeded the 100% availability of the learning materials. But it doesn't mean that other learners were deprived of one-is-to-one -one SLMs. The school strategically designed the 4x4 scheme to ensure that every learner would be provided with the SLM. On the aspect of teachers' professional development and recognizing the vital role of teachers, faculty members invested on their professional development through pursuing their graduate studies. In fact, there are 17 out of 39 teachers were graduates of master's degree, while 11 are currently enrolled in master's program. Alongside is the series of the school learning action cell provided for the teachers. For the funding source, a big chunk of the school's funds 
came from donation amounting to 4 million 220,459 pesos or 76.12 of the total fan source. The remaining 23.88% came from the maintenance and other operating expenses or the MOOE. In the aspect of school awards and recognition, ISL is proud to share with you the taste of victory as we won as first place in nine prestigious awards given by the SDO Calamba City and seven awards as second place with a total of 16 awards. Let's talk about the school performance indicator, particularly access. On the aspect of the dropout rate, significantly last 2018, there was 4.96% or 40 out of 806 learners dropped from school. In 2019, it became 0.7% 0, 0 or 6 out of 852 learners. And in 2020, there was zero report on school dropout. There was 97.25% promotion rate. In 2019, there was 98.92%. And then in 2020, there was 98.33%. Let's talk about the literacy level. From the illustrated data, only grade 12 has the highest number of learners who are reading at their level. The school already started its reading program which entitled PubBitex or Pagtaas ng Antas sa Pagbasa sa Texto which will significantly improve the, re the reading level of the learners. Let's proceed to governance. Currently, the SBM level of Integrated School of Lawa is level 2. But we are on our way for, uh, to attaining or achieving the level 3 of SBM. In the recent concluded SBM spree, ISL emerged as one of the most highly commended school in terms of school-based management practices. As per data of the Child Friendly School Survey, ISL obtained a 29.00 CFSS point, which means that our school is a child-friendly. Let's talk about the participation of our stakeholders. Our school is so fortunate to have numerous stakeholders who generously shared their time and wealth for the betterment of the school. As to specific type of partner, the private individual is the top, is the top contributor and the type of contribution commonly given to the school are in the form of infrastructure and technology. The total amount generated by the school from the different stakeholders is amounting to 4,220,459. A relevant project funded by the city local government headed by our very own Congressman Joaquin Jun Chipeco Jr. through the efforts and leadership of our Barangay Captain Emmanuel Pajonido and PTA President Marilu Astorga, the school was granted an amount of 8 million pesos for the construction of the school covered court and part of it will be allotted to cementing of school frontage and improvement of school stage. For the teacher-learner ratio, on the average in all grade levels, learner-teacher ratio conforms with the planning standards of DepEd. With regard to learner classroom ratio, all classrooms utilized are standard instructional classrooms. In learner toilet ratio, currently there are enough toilets for all learners. The learner toilet ratio is 14 is to 1 ratio. Majority of the toilets in the school are used in the shared manner. With regard to learner seat ratio, presently there are enough seats for all learners. Now let's talk about the status of school projects, activities, and programs. 
For the current year, the school proposed 14 major projects as included in the annual improvement plan. And from these 14 projects, all of those were completed already. For the other stakeholders' achievement, we are pleased to announce that ISL passed the ISO Surveillance Audit and maintain its 9001-2015 certification. It is our pledge of commitment to maintain high-quality services to be given to our stakeholders. For the steps forward, let me share with you this quote from Henry Ford. It says here that if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. ISL is moving forward to increase our enrollment, wellness health programs, learning resources and funds, trainings and awards. To sustain the zero dropout rate for the, for the access and to increase promotion rate and literacy level. For the governance, we are aiming to get our SBM level 3, to get a higher CFSS and more stakeholders participation. To increase also the number of programs, activities, and projects. Increase the number of stakeholders' engagements and achievements. And last, more engaged learners achieving quality education. It became all possible because of the untiring support of our stakeholders. Let me take this opportunity to thank all of those who are in one way or another help and support our school. Likewise, to the 39 teachers, 7 non-teaching personnel, to all the PTA officers and barangay officials of this Barangay Lawa who are with me in all my journey as a school head. And most especially, I would like to thank our great master, who all our services are offered in his glory and honor. I thank you all.